Why is your family so shattered? Um, it all started in 2019 when I dropped out of college. I got a really, really bad, um, I don't know if it's called GPA anymore, but it was a .75. Mm. <laughs> so I, I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't um, focused on school at all. And it was for a multitude of reasons. One being boy, you know, one being just motivations lost in certain things. So when I came back um, in December, because it was a semester when they told me that I could not come back and I was not fit, yes. um, they said, my parents said, well, what's the reason? Well, what's the issues and what's going on? And at that time, they realized that I just started partaking in marijuana. Okay. So they solely focused it on, yeah, it's because she's doing marijuana. That's why she's not. Why she's a very smart down. girl. Okay, you know, got she got accepted to 13 colleges, so it can't be, you mm. know, she's dumb. It has to be something influencing her mind. Got it. You know, so they just put it to that. Got it. So why are you so upset with your family? Um, because of the way they treated me during, um, I guess, my trials. They should have known the type of daughter that I was from the years that they raised me, mm -hmm. um, which is a stand-up girl that could turn into a stand-up woman. Yeah. Um, um, so you want them to be a little bit more supportive and, 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 and think about what could be other reasons than just focusing on one, right. which is weed. How much weed do you think you smoke? I smoke every day. Okay. I smoke every day. Okay. What's your relationship like with your mom? The relationship was everything that I wanted it to be when it was great, but especially now since my mom has her own trauma, I guess with weed, like it's hard for us to even be in the same vicinity as far as this clothes, because let's say I'll have a lasting, like a smell over me, it will be nauseating to her. Mm. So most of the time when we're together, there's always an overlying conscience of, like, am I bothering her? Am I affecting her? It doesn't make me feel good. Yeah. Makes you feel like constantly like you're not enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you have to walk on eggshells. Yeah. With her. And compared to the person I was and the child I was growing up, why couldn't you guys believe in me? You know? Mm -hmm. Tell me about the day, because I read this, that they dragged you out by your feet. It was a matter that didn't even have to do with weed. Um, it was, apparently I was smart at the mouth to my um, father at a moment that he wasn't feeling it or he thought that I went against him or against what he said. Mm -hmm. And he kind of was just in my face saying, stop, stop, as I continue to talk. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm here like, why? When, when am I gonna be heard? In my yeah. mind, I'm saying that. So mm -hmm. I'm just like continuing to talk. And when I continue to talk, he said, okay. And then he grabbed the suitcase from downstairs to bring it upstairs and say, and said, you're leaving. You're going to another place, whatever the case may be, you can't be here. I said, I'm not going anywhere. Mm. And me thinking that I can, you know, go downstairs to my mom and my sister and say, hey, this is what he's trying to do to me off of nothing, off of him feeling like I'm being smart when Really, I'm just, I'm just being me. I'm trying to be heard. Mm -hmm. I got looked at as if I was a ghost. And then how did you get on your back to put them to drag you on your feet? Because my dad put his hands on me to put me out of the house. Got it. And you fell back. And I was fighting him. Because yeah. I'm not, you know, I was pushing away, trying to get away from him. Not, you know, punching, but get it away from him. Yeah. And, you know, he's pulling me in, pulling me in. And that's when it got to the point where I tried to, like, kick him and stuff like that because he's grabbing me and I fell to the floor. That's when my sister and my dad picked me up from off the floor, like, wow. you know, wow. like I was a felon or something intruding into their house. I'm, you know, on the, on the, in the backyard, my sister is pushing her hand into my throat to push me back down the stairs. Wow. All right, well, I want everyone to take a look at something your sister Danielle has to say. My sister Arielle and I used to be close, but then she started blaming me for all of her failures and mistakes. I haven't done anything wrong. The truth is, Ariel takes issues with me because she's jealous. I'm going places in my life. I have a good job, a good education, and I get along with people. And she's stuck in the same place. She has so much anger. She starts arguments and even threatens to fight me. What she needs to understand is that you can't blame me for your bad choices, bad behavior, and getting high all day. I'm her older sister. I deserve more respect, not this hateful attitude. Ariel. You need to stop this jealous, 
bitchy attitude and just grow up. How's it feel to hear what your sister had to say? What would I be jealous of? <laughs> well, I think it's time we meet your sister, Danielle, and hear her side of the story. So everyone, please welcome Danielle to the show. Hi, Hi Danielle. Hello. You look beautiful Hello. as well. Thank May I you. Give you a hug? Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. Jealous of what? What that gave? Girl, when I said, first of all, let's tell the truth and let's shame the devil, amen? Let's talk about college, right? She failed out of school. When she failed out of school, and, uh, and you, mind you, when you was at college, I called you every single night and you didn't tell me not once that she wasn't going to school. After she got kicked out of school, I wrote the appeal for her to go back to school. I did that by myself. Then they didn't accept the appeal, so what did I do? I applied for her to go to community college afterwards. I wrote that application. And then you talking about, oh, everything happened, you got kicked out of the house for no reason. Aaron, you are so disrespectful. And you are so violent. I hated weed, mm -hmm. right? And I use the word hated because I was educated by even Ariel. By mainly by, me. And Daniel, by, by say even Ariel, Daniel and her friends and others has explained to me that, Mom, you cannot blame the substance for what happened to Ariel. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. Ariel is one of the most, I can't explain, talented, brilliant, beautiful minds out there. That's why I don't got time beautiful. to be playing with somebody be capping in my I, face. I, I'm telling you, right? So then what, what is the real reason then that you failed class if you're beautiful? What was the real reason that... Yeah, what was the real reason that you failed? What was the real now, reason? I, um, I was so worried about a man and what was going on with that man. But you didn't Every say that Every single new day, time. it was a new episode of my... I sure did, but you know what everyone else heard? The smoke. Nobody, nobody heard Everyone nothing. else heard the time, smoke in the at air. At that time, I was the only one that knew you smoked weed, Ariel. I didn't tell nobody nothing. Yeah, because the I... only time they found out that you smoked weed, Ariel, was because you were smoking in the house. And you know you're not supposed to I be doing that. I was smoking a weed pen in the house. Yes. No. And, and that doesn't So implicate... she was smoking in the house, a yes. weed pen. All of a sudden, Karama, I don't know what happened. They turn into, like, somebody else, mm -hmm. right? And all of a sudden, their interest in what in their education fall and they just want to chill and relax but Take then it when easy. i but that, then and, but and, listen and so on. and so because of that because of that i didn't want to see that for ariel but, so when i heard that ariel was smoking of course i was like wait what's going on it started morning she can't eat Noon, she can't eat until she smoke. Dinner, and if no she food. Smoke, she's picking fights and, and with everybody. And when she doesn't smoke, she is a volcano. I'm telling you, and so and I'm and and that was when years ago, when uh, when I still was feeling all the pain and the hurt from me being deserted, or now deserted. because Wait. now deserted, when? When? deserted. When? Because Girl, at the end of the day, Girl, when I was I sitting there homeless, I didn't think we deserted Ariel. Mm -hmm. Ariel she left. Ariel, Ariel had a choice, right? I had an remember, ultimatum. Remember? Yes. Yes. It's their house. Yes. I'm so confused. Yes. Yes. But I'm your Stop. daughter and wait, I'm your kid. Wait. 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 Stop smoking. Or and, and take care of your schoolwork. But that's the wait what a second. Wait, wait. 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 Stop smoking. And we love talking about. Stop oh smoking. yeah, that's my house Stop and that's my smoking. house. Where else am I gonna go if she I came from y'all? My producers told me that um, even though you don't like that she smokes weed, when you're in Jamaica with her, you bought her weed. No, I didn't buy her. I give her the money to purchase good. I was afraid Ariel was going to get weed that was going to kill her. I'm going to put down some money so she could get the good Jamaican weed where she can just chill, right? Even though I don't like it. Yeah. Can you hear me? Great. I was, I was willing to compromise my principles so that Ariel is happy. I'm telling you, Karamo, the last day the weed was done, Perhaps, or the week, And they about the to get before. me tight. Wait a because second. what you're gonna do again is the same thing that I told you is what pisses me off and what makes me wanna go off and get disrespectful. Stop tying my emotions to marijuana. Stop tying my emotions to I'm me. I'm not doing that. It's Stop tied tying to me. me to something that has nothing to you. do I'm not with doing how it. I feel about how y'all done me. It's what not, did we not, do? Girl, you was not there for me, girl. What, what are you kidding me? Time out. When she got kicked out, I was in college. Yeah, I got it. I, no, didn't, I, got I had it. no and money. Yeah, I don't I have that. money. I, got that. I can't move out and uh, provide a home for her. Yeah. I don't have nothing. Do that. I'm still living in the same house with my, our parents. Girl, Every ain't nobody day, actually I'm doing that, with them. girl. I'm tired of being in the middle of this. Ariel, so when you called the show, what did you hope will happen today? I would hope that I would get different treatment. And like I said, 
beautiful soul, but if that was real life behind closed doors where I actually feel that love, because if you show me you doing that behind closed doors, how come when I open the damn door, I'm not seeing it? But we're not talking the, about the disrespect behind okay, doors. I'm going to tell y'all this. There's something that, that kept coming up, and every single one of y'all said it in different ways, that um, this is not you anymore, Ariel. And then I also kept hearing about what's been going on. So this is not about getting kicked out. There's some other trauma that has happened here that, that you don't feel supported by. And I'm not asking you to express it, but I'm almost positive. There's something else. Because that is what has led you to feel as if I need to retreat from the person that I was before. I was, I was sexually assaulted when I was okay. homeless, bro. Okay, okay. And when I first told him, it was like they didn't believe me. Not true. Yeah. Not true. Who didn't believe you? It. Listen. Who didn't believe you? Uh, That's who? not true. Who? who didn't believe you? It's, it's not true. You telling? You saying I didn't believe you? No, no, no. Go ahead, mom. Oh. Let, let, let me talk. Oh. Let, 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 let me talk. We, 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 we offered Ariel police mm -hmm. rape kit. Yeah. Going to the hospital. Yeah. Ariel refused. I don't even want to sit there and have to look at that man's face and what he done to me. All I wanted was to be consoled and, and cradled around with my family. I get it, like, I get it. So I and what I, I got was no, I, lots I believe, of confusion I, I did. and I believe, seeing I believe, it was the truth. She didn't even come home. I believe you did. I was looking, she didn't even come home. She told me on the phone, I said, we got to get on this. I when she came home, I cuddled her. I because it happened in January and it was March. I understand what's going on. There's a pressure of, this is who I've been my entire life, and I'm exhausted. And I've been in that position where you are feeling like I have to achieve, I have to achieve, and then you get to a place where it's like, I'm exhausted. And whether or not you express it or not, I'm sure you were exhausted. For any young woman to get invited to 13 schools, except at 13 schools, you're a smart student. I just heard you say it. But then you compound that with now some other type of trauma. Now this is somebody who's saying, I don't need solutions, I need support. And we not saying it. therapy. I get it, they I get it. They offer to pay for therapy. Not only that, I, want, I, want I go to, to therapy. Know. I sent her resources to go to therapy. I don't need no, no solution, no, solution with no damn therapist. I, I need a solution it. with on. you. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm, I'm talking at the because at the end of the day, no. I get no. therapists no. for no. better coping no. mechanisms area, area, to deal area. with stuff. I understand that you all are trying to be there. Y'all are hurting as well. You're trying to figure out. Sometimes people are not able to receive the support that they we think that they need in that moment because they're still trying to process and deal with their head. And a lot of this anger, and I'm seeing how your body is shaking. I understand. There's angry, there's you ain't anger. You been through what the hell I've been through? And you got the nerve to really sit there and be like, oh, yeah, I exuded all my effort for you. I exuded da 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 da, -da But I don't see you do half of the stuff you do for other people for me. Get out of here, bro. Like, get out of here with that, bro. Listen, this makes sense I'm about, believe this that. makes sense. Here, let me give you a tissue, too. This makes sense of why in Jamaica, y'all had a conversation about sisters as boundaries, and you said, I'm doing boundaries, and she said, what the hell is their boundaries? Because she's looking for you to show up in a way right now that in your mind, you're like, I'm showing up, I, I'm doing it. it. No, I, I literally am. I it's know, not in I my know, mind. I know, I know. So I asked her what she wants from me. She can't even tell me. I'm gonna tell you again. What I wanted from you is at the end of the day, right now, you can say, I would have moved differently back then. And I apologize I know you can. countless times. Yeah, she doesn't need an apology. It's been five years, she and apology. I've apologized she countless times. What is the apology All she gonna do needs, for me? The one thing she needed is the one thing you refused to giving her. Which is what? She said, I need you just to say back then, you would have did things differently. Mom. Personally, I have said that to Ariel you felt that? several times. So that's why you wait, have wait, more of a connection. Wait, wait, wait. That's why you're fine with your mom. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I've said that to, to her several times. I would and have done I stuff differently. And like, for I example, you, for her to I, I would have done stuff house. differently because and what did I right, say? Right. Even there. Right. And what did I, I say? I was in college fighting for myself. And right. what did I say to right. you, Mom? Right. 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 Didn't so, I say so, to you so, that I, I understand, but it's not the apology that I need from you? Right, right. And I mean, when I do mention that stuff that happens in the past, it's not because I'm trying to throw it in your face and throw I'm just trying to let you know that I am, what's, because of what's happening right now, feeling back in that space. I think one solution to first step is that weed has to be out of the conversation. I think we can all identify that weed is not the issue here. It's not the issue at all. So weed can be out of the conversation. What this is is that she's had a traumatic moment in her life, and in spaces of where she feels like it, she gets back in that space, it's going to cause anger. It takes sometimes a lot of... It takes years sometimes. If y'all really love her, it's going to have to practice. If? Not, 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 not if. I love I her. I know you know. Deeply. I know you do. 
I know you do. And I apologize for saying the word if. What I want you to know is that right now, patience is going to be the time to heal. I'm trying to make sure you know, I see you and see what you've done. And I understand the frustration you have being stuck in the middle. But right now, there's a lot of pain here that I think is going past even now. You hear it coming out. I think there's a lot of conversation that has to be happening around how y'all both feel about the relationship y'all have had from even before this. Thank you for being honest and open. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry that y'all are in this difficult space. Mom, you got two amazing young women, Thank and I you. know they can get I back there you. because they have a strong mother right here with them. And um, I really do wish y'all the best. Thanks for your time. Honestly. Hold up, hold up. Where are you going? I know you want to watch more Karamo, so click here to subscribe and click here to watch more so we can keep talking and growing, friends. I love you.